Hey guys! So if you've been in existence for the past few months, you've probably heard of a movie coming out called Warcraft. As many of you know, the Warcraft movie is telling the story of the Warcraft series, but specifically the first game, which was Orcs vs. Humans, and I know many of you know this already. However, I found a lot of reviews online, like on Rotten Tomatoes and IMBD, that were talking about how, although it has good aspects of the movie, it's overwhelming because it's filled with so much lore. Which those of us who have been part of the series for a long time might really appreciate. But for those people who haven't or maybe focus on like other aspects of the game, less PvE and less lore, they might not enjoy it as much. And I think that kind of sucks. So my goal today is to bring you a video that is going to explain some of the lore that happens prior and during the events of the Warcraft game, the first Warcraft game. Since it is explaining those events, there will be spoilers. <laughs> so before the dark portal opens at a theater near you, I'm gonna give you some lore that you should know before you see the movie. All right, so let's break some stuff down geographically. There are two big places. We have Azeroth and Draenor, and different people live in different spots. But if you're in one spot, you can't get to the other spot until this big ass portal opened, but I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, we're gonna talk about Azeroth, which actually looks like this but we don't know that yet. Azeroth is a place where everything is happy and fun. There's a king, and the king is friends with a couple of guys from his childhood named Anduin Lothar and Magus Medivh. Lothar is boring though, so we're gonna focus on the other cool dude. Medivh was having a fun old time in life until BAM! He falls into a 20 year coma that's induced by a crazy dark titan bitch named Sargeras, who took almost complete control of his body and soul. So anyway, Sargeras is in Medivh's body, but we're just gonna say Medivh for simplicity's sake. So Medivh is like, damn, I wanna have my body back. This one is small and pale as shit. So he was like, alrighty, step one is to take over Azeroth, but I'm lazy, so I'm gonna send mental images to this guy named Gul'dan over in Draenor, and I'll show him how luscious and easy it would be to destroy Azeroth. He was like, hey, if you want to be a god, I know this place in the tomb of Sargeras, you can come and get that ass. And he was like, yeah, neato. Then, the two of them, to connect Azeroth's Draenor, opened a big fucking portal. But then Gul'dan needs to unite the orcs as the orcs horde, so they have an election. But then Gul'dan wants this guy named Blackhand to win, because he's kind of stupid and easy to manipulate, so he rigs the election. But then some people, mainly this guy Duratan, didn't like the way Blackhand is doing things, because Gul'dan is controlling him and he wants to shoot up with this crazy blood of Manorith fell stuff that turns the orcs into what would later be referred to as tainted orcs. That's why some of them in the trailer are brown and some are green. With the exception of Baby Thrall, we don't know why he's green. So Duratan, who is the leader of the Frostwolf clan, was like, hey, could we not? And Gul'dan Dan was like, hell no. So after they went through the big ass portal they made, he was like, please lay forever and take your wolf clan. So they went over to Alterac Valley for a bit. All right, so now let's pretend we're humans because we are humans. Our crops are chill, our people are chill, our king is chill, but then holy shit, people are hitting our buildings with axes and wolves. Thankfully, they're doing it very poorly because they're all arguing with each other about who knows what, but they lose pretty damn hard, like really badly, which makes them super upset and embarrassed. So Gul'dan is like, psst, black hand. Let's make them talk about their problems. So they did, and it helped. It helped so much that they went back to attacking things with axes and wolves. So remember this dude that was possessed with the titan? Well, he was like, mmm, I don't think Gul'dan wants it bad enough. So he does this telepathic striptease showing him everything that he could have, which makes Gul'dan pretty fucking mad. So he was like, Blackhand, we're taking this bitch world Azeroth over now. So they start going at it, and the night before the final attack on Stormwind City, the human capital, Lothar, the boring guy from before, realizes that Medivh has been having some pretty fucking crazy mood swings and shit. Maybe I should see if he's okay. Well then he realized he was, in fact, not okay. So he sends some warriors to go kill him. Gul'dan finds out about how Medivh is going to be killed and is like, I came all the way here, I'm getting the goddamn power of the tomb of Sargeras if it kills me. So he was raping Medivh's mind for info and then BAM! Lothar's guys kill Medivh! But Gul'dan is way gone so it sends him into a coma. But now wait, we have a stupid warchief who has no idea what the hell is happening. So a second in command, Doomhammer, is like, oh, okay, stab, and kills him. Which is kind of a dick move. So now Hammer Doom is the warchief of the horde, and boy do things start changing. Not really, more axes and wolves. The orcs take down Northshire, Moonbrook, and Goldshire. Or Pornshire, for those of you on the role-playing servers. Then the orcs are back where they started, attacking Stormwind Keep, except this time they did it a lot better because it worked. While they're fighting, Bam! Half-orc, half-human lady hired by Gul'dan, Garona, kills King Lane. Quick break. Garona in traditional Warcraft lore is half-human, but it was later changed to half-Draenei, so there's a lot of deliberation about what exactly she is. We just know that she's half-orc, half-something else, and 100% badass. Meanwhile, Duratan and the Snowcats are like, 
Gul'dan is suspicious. I should tell Doomhammer. So he does. And Doomhammer is like, get Corona in here because she's a Gul'dan spy. They torture her and she tells them where Gul'dan has this crazy warlock cult called the Shadow Council. So Doomhammer sends some people to go down and kill some bitches. Meanwhile, Gul'dan has some loyal assassins that notice Duratan and his wife Draka are kinda killing their group, so they stab them. Right before that though, Thrall becomes Moses and is later found by humans who enslave him, but he kinda goes on to become the coolest guy ever, so stay tuned. Even with all the orc drama, Lothar realizes that Stormwind is lost and there really isn't much they can do, so they secede and flee to this place up north called Lordaeron. Alright, so that's what happens in the Warcraft lore, but the movie appears to be offering a different perspective. In the movie trailer we see heroes will unite, but there's really no uniting in the first war. It's pretty much just orcs fighting humans. Then that begs the question, what are they going to have to change in the lore? As I mentioned in the video, there are tainted orcs as well, so those who have the blood of Manoreth are tainted orcs but those who don't aren't. Well, it looks like they're making an aspect where those non-tainted orcs have to unite with the humans in order to defeat Gul'dan and everyone involved with that whole scheme. It's gonna be really interesting that they do that, and honestly, I'm okay with them changing stuff up as long as they keep like really strong, solid plot points. We don't actually see orcs fighting orcs until you get to the- and there's my air conditioner. It's gonna mess up the sound. I'll keep going anyways. The only time in World of Warcraft play that we actually see orcs fighting orcs is in the Outlands when we're fighting the Fell Orcs. But Fell Orcs don't really come around until the Third War, so I don't really know what they're gonna do with that. As far as the orcs uniting with the humans, I don't really know how that's gonna tie in with the humans fleeing to Lordaeron and um, the orcs winning the war. But I'm not really sure how they're gonna do that if they supposedly unite. I... I... For those of you who have played World of Warcraft, I would like to point out in the trailer that they took immense time making these maps. I looked at the trailer and I could specifically identify exact spots in the map where I've been. They have that beautiful shot of Red Ridge. They have these shots of Dalaran and of Stormwind City. You see the roofs at different colors. And even in the shot of Stormwind, if you look out past Elwyn Forest, you can see Westfall out there. Like, they took time. They know they, they are making the maps the way that we would have them in life, and that is like the most heartwarming thing ever. I hope that fans of the series are having the same amount of excitement as I am, because even if the movie does flop, even if it's not the best, which some reviews definitely have reached that conclusion, the fact that this game that we've been playing for years has, is now becoming a movie. That's like every gamer's dream. Like, I don't even... maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But as far as I can tell, on many of the cinematic trailers that they release for the expansions, people put, oh, Blizzard should make a movie. So, they're doing it now. They did it. They, they've done it. Also, as an Allegiant member of the Horde, I'm really happy to see that this movie isn't just like, the evil orcs are attacking us. Ah! It's gonna be fair, like we're, we're seeing the parts of the Horde that we love, we're seeing Thrall, we're seeing the relationships and all the things that we do like about the Horde even though we like their savagery, we like their directness, we like all of that stuff about us because we're the best. Either way, I hope that that video that I just did cleared some stuff up. It took a long time, but hopefully it's worth it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's my very first video like this, so if I did a bunch of stuff wrong or if I said the wrong thing, I apologize. Um, please do correct me if I make a mistake on the lore. Be gentle. A huge shout out to my friend Justin who helped me out with making this video. He did lots of research with me and also gave me an endless fountain of tea when I was at his house. So that's really all I need for a good work environment is I need lots of tea. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Please do like and subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't, you can give it a dislike, but hopefully you liked it. Alright guys, bye! If they have the shores of Red Ridge and they don't include Murlocs, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be very cross with you, Blizzard. And at least one polymorph. Like, we have a mage. There should be a polymorph.